Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. I hope those are watching this tutorial doing great and having good health. And this is the third lecture of the sequential video of the human digestion process. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the digestions in stomach. So, before going to explain, uh, I hope you have seen my previous video that the digestion process in the mouth or the buccal cavity. What's going on in the mouth? For your understanding, I, I hope you know that there are three pairs of salivary gland and the secretion of those glands called saliva. And then when the food particles are mixing with the saliva, salivary amylase is activated and turns carbohydrate into uh, glucose and some sort of maltose also coming to maltase. So some sort of like activations and uh, the changes in case of carbohydrate happens in uh, buccal cavity but no protein and uh, fat digestions over there. But when we, we force down to the foods to the stomach, what's going on in the stomach, this is the main focus of this tutorial. Think about the stomach inside the stomach or the inner layer of the stomach it has like a gastric gland so first thing is that first thing is that that when food comes into the stomach a hormone called gastrin will activate it so gastrin gastrin hormone released so when gastrin hormone released released what's happening then gastric juice gastric juice also released so after gastrin hormone released gastric juice it's called gastric juice it's also released and then what are the activities of the gastric juice you must know that inside our stomach it's highly acidic as because the presence of hydrochloric acid when gastric juice released, this hydrochloric acid actually inhibits and also this hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria and in increase the acidic activity into the stomach. What's going on there? When gastric juice released, HCl. So before we to explain it, you must know that when food particles come into the stomach, a peristaltic movement from the forwards to backwards and backwards to forwards is always going on in every 15 to 25 seconds. And that movement is known as peristaltic movement. So you must know another word is peristaltic movement of the stomach. So this movement is that Suppose this is the upper part of the stomach and it's known as fundus and the second part is known as the body and the last part of the stomach is known as pylorus. So from pylorus to fundus to fundus to pylorus, these muscles is doing this peristaltic movement for mixing these food particles with the gastric juice. So when gastric juice is mixed with the food, hydrochloric acids kills the bacteria and germs with the food and also it makes the food into some liquid, thin liquid is known as chyme. So HCl, when HCl mixed with the food then the first thing is it kills bacteria, it kills bacteria and also it also creates creates the acidic environment creates acidic environment into the stomach and then what happens this HCl is also activate some enzymes like pepsinogen and proranin so the pepsinogen the pep the pepsinogen will turn into pepsin pepsinogen and proranin these are the enzyme that will turn into the pepsinogen will be active pepsin and and these proranin will be renin and then what's going on that proranin that will activate to renin with the help of HCl HCl then 
this pepsin and renin will break down it's actually a proteolytic enzyme they will they will definitely activate with the protein and then they will they will convert protein into pepsin so what's going on pepsinogen proteins you see that first after these re reactions proteins proteins and water when it will mix then then this pepsin then pepsin will convert it into the proteins will be protease and then this paracasein paracasein or we can say that the milk paracasein milk paracasein milk paracasein uh, that will also protein or milk casein we can say it we can say it milk casein so the paracasein's milk casein actually turns into milk casein that will turn into paracasein and then this paracasein paracasein will turn into pepsin or protease actually Proteus with the activities of renin, so it will be proteus. So here renin and here pepsin. So what we see that in the stomach, at first when food will come into stomach from the fundus to body to pylora, some some movement will happen, and this movement will make these food particles into chyme. So when gastric hormone released and gastric juice released, this gastric juice increase the HCl activities and HCl or hydrochloric acid when mixed up with food it first kills bacteria and it creates acidic environment and from that environment the pepsinogen and the proreneic these are the inactivated form of enzymes that will convert into active pepsin and renin. So when pepsin and renin will be formed, they will change and convert some food particles into some soluble particles like proteins when mixed up with water, then it will be proteus or polypeptide, even milk casein that renin will make into paracasein and these paracasein will be converted into proteus with the activity of pepsin. So these sort of activities or these sort of changes happens inside stomach. But you know that there is no carbohydrate and lipid digestion happens into the stomach because there is no amylolytic and lipolytic enzyme presence inside the stomach. So what's going on here? In short, as this is the gastric juice, the inner layer is about the gastric gland that will secrete that juice, gastric juice, and that increase the activity of hydrochloric acid and pepsin and renin. And this pepsin and renin turns into proteus, paracasins, and pepsin, uh, proteus. So this proteus is known as polypeptide. So in the next video, I'm going to explain about the digestion process in small intestine. So small intestine is uh, more reactive and there are a lot of other enzymes and hormones are there. So it will be much complex. Before going to explain it, you need to know the sequences going on from the mouth to stomach to small intestine. So I hope you understand the process is going on inside the stomach. So I'm going on with the next video with the small intestine digestion process. So take care, stay well.